You ever lost your job? I did. I have experience with that. Losing your job can suck, but it's common. It's more common than people think. It's not always you getting fired, right? And I'm talking about losing your job like you're not eligible for unemployment. I'm talking about being in a situation where your income just stops, where there's no more money coming in. Sometimes it's because you got laid off. Sometimes you're going from job to job, like you have another job lined up, but the HR hiring process takes so long that it got filled. These things happen, you can find yourself without a job, so let's talk about what to do if you're in that situation. A lot of people, especially lately, they've been losing their jobs. Tech, trucking, construction, government, it doesn't matter, dude. Losing your job, it happens, but you need to be prepared, right? You don't want this to catch you off guard. That's what I'm gonna get into in this video, dude. I mean, I'm no different than a tech worker, really. You can lose your job with these guys. The names like Amazon, Alphabet, Meta have all cut double digit percentages of their workforce after over hiring during the pandemic. They Remember, it's definitely been happening to the tech workers, probably worse than truck drivers, but remember this? National trucking giant Yellow Corporation may file for bankruptcy any day now. This leaves 30,000 employees without a job after it closed its doors nationwide on Monday. So when you find yourself jobless, the first thing you gotta do is before you find a job, before you do anything, I'm blue, because I just had a, a lollipop. You gotta find out where is your money? Where's your money coming from? Where's it going? If you have any subscriptions, any like payment plans or anything, put them all on pause just for now. Try to get rid of that damn lollipop action. Check it out. So when you're up, right? Pretty much when you're when you have a job, when you're balling, right? When you got all your money, all that means is the higher you are, the the harder you're gonna fall, or like the longer or whatever. The higher you are, the harder you're gonna fall. Pretty much, you're doing good you're gonna be really not doing good when you lose your job. It happens to everyone, so you need to be prepared. And how do you stay prepared? How do you get prepared? You gotta have credit cards. You gotta have money saved up. When you're doing good, prepare for a rainy day because they come around, dude. Some of us think that, you know, because we're, we, we get set in our schedule, right? We get up, we go to work every day, we come home, see the family, or you're living over the road in the truck, and then one day, you get into an accident if you're a truck driver or you come into work and your badge doesn't work you know you log into your whatever on your laptop and you can you explain for me why britney peach is getting let go i won't be able to go into specifics wait why though i just started i've been working extremely hard i have like really given my whole energy and life over the last four months to this job just like all these tech people you can't log in you have no money you just lost your job when you're doing good, stack up, get some credit cards. Right now, I got about almost 10 credit cards, right? And I, I'm what they call like a deadbeat. You know what I mean? I got a balance on one, but all of them are on auto pay. I pay off my balance every month. I don't spend more than I have to, but they're there. And trust me, those those credit cards, they've carried me through periods when I was unemployed. I some of you guys are saying, oh, I can't believe he has 10 credit cards. I'm, I'm trying to get 25 to 30 credit cards. I'm trying to get the best credit cards where I could get the most rewards and I'm trying to be a deadbeat and I'm just trying to have as much credit history for like the longest periods of, of time that I can. I got credit cards that have high interest rates and I got credit cards that have low interest rates in my whole career of fixing my credit when I went over the road. But that's besides the point. I can't talk to you out here because it's too windy. It's going to mess up the microphone. So let me go back in the truck. Look, when you're unemployed, you're going to need to hit up family. If you got an old lady, she's going to have to step it up. Because when you're unemployed, dude, it happens. And it's going to happen for a while, dude. Sometimes we plan to go from this job to this job. And it doesn't go through for whatever reason. And we end up stuck right here in the middle where we have no job at all, dude. So if you're single, you cannot fuck over your family. Your family is probably the only people that are gonna ride or die for you, that are gonna help you through these hard times. You hit up friends, see how many friends you got when you, when you need to stay somewhere, right? When you need help, don't go asking people for money. Try to set yourself up for a rainy day, but don't fuck up past jobs, right? If I had nowhere to go, I'd hit up Swift, CR England, Night Transportation, Prime, JB Hunt, like a mega carrier with a sleeper. If you have a CDL, you could always go live in the truck and then reevaluate things from there. But you know, that's assuming the worst. Say you're one of those guys 
where you're well off, right? You got a lot of money stacked up. You got credit cards. You're good. You got somewhere to stay. Now that you're unemployed, enjoy it. Take a vacation for a little bit. Sit back, sit back, kick back, put your feet up on the couch, look for jobs. But if you, if you don't got to sweat it, enjoy this time off. Because once you go back to work, you're going to be right back in the grind. You're not going to have a lot of time. Now that you have time, you know, pick up on shit, right? Maybe you got a lot of, I don't know, whatever you got to catch up on in your life. Yeah, dude, definitely use the time wisely. If you're well off, you're unemployed, but you're all right, you got money stacked up, you could be unemployed, you could afford it. Enjoy that time because it's not going to last long. Trust me, there's always work out there. You could always get back into the labor force, into the work world. Now that you're off, enjoy it. And here's something that people fuck up on. Sometimes you're not going to be able to go back to work in the line of work that you were in. Say you fucked it up. Say you got fired for something that you did like very crazy. Like say you're a truck driver and you fell asleep or you were high and drunk and you ran into that pole right there. You see that? See that pole? Say you took it out because you were on one. You're probably not going to be a truck driver, but hey, you could be a bartender, right? You could go work security. You could do something. Well, I don't know, security with a DUI, you probably won't be able to do that too, but you get what I mean, right? You gotta find a job, dude. As far as your old lady, if she leaves you, let her, right? You got more important things, you're broke. You need to fix that before you fix other shit, you know? You know, I thought this was gonna be one of those videos where I go into like detail and I make it all like sound good, but dude, if you lose your job, number one, have a bridge to go to. Don't be burning your bridges, don't be telling like your friends and family to fuck off like real nasty when you get into an argument because you never know when you're gonna need them. So yeah, number one, don't burn bridges. You're gonna have to hit up friends and family if you ain't got nowhere to go. Two, credit cards. Find out where your money is. Stop all those automatic payments or whatever. Dive into those credit cards. Have a saving. Be prepared. You should be prepared for this shit because this shit happens. It happens all the time. Number three, if you are prepared and if you're prepared pretty good, like if you got some money, if you're one of those guys, right? Enjoy the time off. Then number four, what it really comes down to, you're unemployed, you're a man. Go get your ass a job, right? Don't be picky. Don't be like one of these people that have, that, you know, you've been unemployed for a year because you can't find that good tech job or that good accounting job. But you could become a janitor. You could do something. You could become, I don't know, you could like file papers in the office or you can go work in a warehouse. You need to make money. You're a grown fucking adult. Get your ass a job. Don't milk it. Don't run through your savings. Don't mooch off your parents or whatever. Go find a job. Ultimately, that's what this comes down to. If you fucked up, own it. You know what I mean? And then go find a job. Here's something else I wanted to say, right? In my comment section, I get a lot of like trolls, but this tells me their mind state, right? Just because you lose your job, just because you're going through hard times financially, doesn't make you a loser. But for some guys, they feel so bad about themselves that if they go through just the slightest fuck up, they feel like a loser. And let me tell you something, that's life. In life you have ups and in life you have downs. Most of it is due to your actions, own up to it, but check it out, you're only human. It doesn't make you a loser. If you have to move in with your folks, if you have to ask for help, it doesn't make you a loser. It doesn't make you any less of a man. What I understand is that, yeah, it's good to have money. It's important to have money. You need to have a job. You need to be able to at least provide for yourself, let alone others. But you're more than just that. You're more than just a provider, all right? You have more value than just what you provide financially. Because here's the thing. If you think your value only comes from your job, only comes from you being able to put money on the table, then ultimately what you're saying is without the money, you ain't shit. Think about that. Peace out.